Are you ready for a 10 plus hour flight, sir? How the British live up to their stereotype, part one. Do you see all this? Look at all this stuff. I got like, you know. Everything looks crazy. Oh, my wife can't hold the camera to save her life. No, it's crazy. Ladies and gentlemen, there are still bags that are trying to come forward. Is that, is that? Crazy. Okay, one. It's 2023, baby. We don't use terminology like that anymore. And then two, is that what you think mental illness is? is like, it's like dizziness. Wow. It's like vertigo. I'm sorry, audience. <laughs> However, I'm not sorry because we're going to London. Sorry, not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Yes, where uh, where they export uh, crazy. No, no, <laughs> no, 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 yep. no, no, no. We're going to London. However, to get crazy, we're going to tour airports today. The airport. London airports. Because we're oh, going yeah. from one London airport to another London airport to an Italian airport to an Italian airport <laughs> to an Italian. Hotel. <laughs> Today would not be an easy day and that's fine you do what you got to do in order to travel but uh, I have been up for quite a bit uh, it is now oh I don't know like midnight 1 a.m. In, in my land but it is like 9 a.m. in London land and we have arrived only to run around to try to figure out what bus we have to take to another airport because we are flying again from a different airport to Venice today you gotta, you gotta puddle jump, you know? Puddle jump. Place to place to place. Financially, it made the most sense. Um, but we figured it out. And by we, I mean he. With a little help from me. It's gonna work. Public transportation in a foreign country. <laughs> What's that? I like the double decker bus. We're not going on the double decker bus. No, nah, we're going on a, on a charter like bus. To Stansted Airport. Me personally, I, uh, I like the double decker buses, but I, I, I just feel like I'm more of a single decker guy. Oh, you know, I. Uh, if there's an option for double, you know what? This now, I want a double decker bus. I want to tear it apart and make a, a little home inside of it. But I'm also lazy. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. So now we're like wandering around Stansted Airport, and this is uh, the police with some big ass guns, dude. Why you got some big ass guns? This is in America. We found a hotel bar and... Do you tip in London? 
I feel like, yes, you do now, although you didn't used to. Is my husband being cheap and not to be? I say yes. Um, but what I was trying to say is that uh, they didn't have Guinness. And I would also just like to say that the Radisson Blue next to the Stanton Airport is a 2.5 star hotel. <laughs> not even staying here, but it's pretty shabby. Uh, and I'm also mad because they don't have my Guinness. And also, I don't understand how old people travel. Because I am so tired. I am so tired. How do they go anywhere? Baby, how do they... Yeah. I don't understand how to handle my life right now. Because I'm just like... I wasn't this bad previously. We did uh, New Orleans on a red eye, and I was fine. I don't know what it is about international travel that somehow takes it out of me. I, it was like this in Amsterdam at some point as well. Going back on record to say, I am actually really grateful for this lounge. Um, it has this now defunct wine tower that used to have women, apparently, who, why women, I don't know, uh, who climbed up there to get you a wine bottle. Um, anyway, I'm grateful there's a place to chill because so far in the Stanton Airport, at least in the outside area, uh, there is no place to hang out. And the little places of seating that there is, like everybody else took it. So I was sitting on the ground and that was not fun. So, just kidding, you're a three. Star hotel. 2.75 stars. 2.5 stars and a thank you. In the airport now, and we're in a lounge. It's my first time. Well, they kicked me out. Somehow, we qualified. Free food. Free stop. the British live up to their stereotype part one. We found a tea bag littered on the ground. I've literally never seen that in the United States. Just a tea bag on the ground. It's so English. Our flight is delayed. This is how I'm dealing with it. This is how he's dealing with it. And this, Yuvia? Is this why we're delayed? I don't know. However, there is the rain. This is not a surprise for where we are geographically. Roxanne. Do you think we're on this side? Yeah, 14. 14? Walk right into the canal. Are they singing? No, they're not singing. This is, this is it. Oh, mio. Ooh, now that we're here, just gotta walk a bunch. 20 minutes. Let's get to the hotel. I'm not, I'm not sad about it. This is a really low steps. You expect to step higher every time. They're really low. <laughs> I 
after much arm twisting, Kat has convinced me to come get some food. And we happen to be at a place that has a gluten-free pizza and gluten-free pasta. You know, I didn't I'm convince very you. happy about this. Look at, listen to her, more arm twisting in the background. <laughs> I am really happy that she forced me into this so far, but we'll see. Forced you into Venice, forced you into fun, forced you into joy, forced into it. American women, man, what can I say? So bossy. Yeah. What you The thing I love about Venice, number mm, 14, picking a number at random. They had dinner places open super late, which is really helpful when you come in from an international flight and um, you're hungry and uh, and everybody's out super late at night. I don't know if it's just the weekend, but it, it I'm in Jordan. <laughs> It's like a bar just chilling out on the street. You want to grab a drink at a bar? As we uh, walk through these squares, I'm reminded of all the other European places we go. Yeah. They're all about the squares. Yeah. We're not so squarey in uh, in America. We're all about the, you know, maybe a use, park, use a strip. Use all the space you possibly can. But most, yeah, everything is used for commercial purposes. You, you got to come buy something. This is what it really is about. This area is really nice. Hey, if you're gonna go to Venice. You know, I recommend doing it. If you're gonna go to Venice, I recommend it. <laughs> Yeah, if you're not gonna go, totally don't recommend it. <laughs> made it to the hotel. It's, it's so uh, beautiful so far. It's very nice. This place is uh, nice. And we have made it. Look, I have hands out of my head. We have made it to our room. It is past midnight on a day that we have not actually, yes, this is exciting, uh, on a day that we have not actually like full on slept. And this is the first time that Chris has been horizontal in how long? Like 36 hours. Like 36 hours. So we're gonna sleep and we're gonna set an alarm so that we don't sleep all day tomorrow. Um, there's no air conditioning in our hotel. We called and we're like, it's not working. And they're like, yeah, it's not going to. <laughs> no, we got windows. No. We do have windows, they're open, it's fine. I'm just saying, persecution. It's hard to be in Venice. We sleep in like I'm gonna drink a beer and go to sleep. And then I'm gonna show you Venice tomorrow in it all its glory. Welcome to Venice. That is a fancy gondola boat. How does this exist in our world?